Hi guys, welcome to the final episode of Euro Boss Girls Season 2 where I'll be taking this BMW 4 Series Coupe for a ride. Now this car is based on the iconic 3 Series where it will give you the same driving satisfaction and same style of performance but in a more stylish and sexier body. So it's the perfect car for the chic boss girl that we're meeting today. Who do we have? Wait and see. Hello! Hi. Shoe Shoe Shoes is 10 years old now, right? Yes. It was kind of like a by the way realization. <laughs> I was doing an interview for a TV show and they were just talking about the business and how I started and how we've come. And I was like, oh my god, this year is our 10th year in business. So for me, it was more of not like a conscious thought. It was more of like, you know, I've been just trudging along and just doing so many things and keeping so busy. It's crazy how time flies when you're actually pursuing what you love and what mm. you're passionate about. Mm. And the thing is with fashion, it's, it's non-stop, right? It's not like yeah. you get to a point in the business where it plateaus and you're just comfortable. Okay. You can go on cruise control. Of course, it did not just happen overnight. You know, I always knew this was something I was going to do. I always knew that I had that entrepreneurial spirit in me. People go, why? Shoes, shoes, shoes. And I say, it's because I want people, women to look at shoes and not just a singular vision. Mm -hmm. So I don't want you to come to my shop and only feel like you only can walk away with one pair. You know, you can walk away with three pairs, hence shoes, 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 but not feel the guilt. You know, it was affordable, you got a good shoe, it's well designed, it's made of amazing leather, it's comfortable. So for me, I wanted that and back 10 years ago, there was really nothing in the market. There was yeah. really nothing. So 10 years, right? How, how much do you think you have grown? Oh my god, my life is just totally different now. Like, I think I have grown with my customers, hence also the brand has grown. Our target market is actually the working women. Yeah. At, or working or women on the go, managing businesses or families or whatever. Then eventually I got married. Mm -hmm. So then I launched my bridal line. So bridal, my bridal samples, my bridal shoes during my wedding was actually all my samples. All right. Um, got to test it, you know, and wear it and just go, yeah, you know, I, I can stand in this pair of shoes for like a good six hours. And dance in it. Yeah, and dance in it and, and, and whatever. So so then I started having a family. So I had my, got pregnant with my first daughter. Mm -hmm. That's when I launched our Bambini line and the matching mommy and baby shoes. Mm, mm, mm. Um, so that's also, so you see the business has grown as I have grown and because I also believe my customers are growing with me. Would you say you're um, a workaholic? Um, mm -hmm. It's like me and my husband, I guess that's why we got married to each other. It's more of like we're opportunists in the sense that <laughs> if we see anything, you know that we feel we can take advantage of or do something mm -hmm. for, we, we're not the sort to just lie back and not, you know, embrace the challenge. Mm. So, like we do business together also, so I don't only have fashion, also have something else with him. Okay. A few other things with him, so yeah. But how's, it, how's it like working with your husband? I don't think it's for everyone, <laughs> but we did this when we were already uh, dating. Ah, so okay. we, yeah, it's like, you know, we've been together for like eight years. We've mm. been having, we've been working at business for the past five years. Yeah. You know, I think if you start doing business when you're married, then it's a little bit, bit testy. Yeah. <laughs> You know you're a mom of uh, two daughters, yep. two very beautiful daughters. <laughs> two um, crazy little <laughs> girls, but yes. So how do you juggle between like being a mom, being a wife, and right? Being yeah, a so businesswoman. It's not easy, and um, I get why a lot of uh, career women retire once they have children because they want to just devote themselves to this to child kids, that they yeah. brought into this world. Mm -hmm. Big up to the moms that can actually do this, stay home and dedicate. 100% of their time for the kids. <laughs> I'm not like that, you know, I, I need to be also on a whole, my personal self. I need to have my career. Mm. I need to be achieving something for my, my, myself. I think for me, it's very important to have that balance. Mm. But you need to accept if you take on this multifaceted type of role, that something will give. You cannot have it, have it all. There's only so much time in the world, right? There's only so much your brain can multitask. So it's something we'll have to give. So I acknowledge that, uh, yes, I will not have a good 12 hours with my children. I may have a good three, and I'm happy with that. I'm at peace with that decision. You as a mom, you really literally do everything. You know, you're, you, you're, you're the house manager, <laughs> you're the, you take care of the biggest baby yeah, in the house, which is yeah, the husband. Yeah. You know, you take care <laughs> of the kids, you're managing the nannies, you know, you're managing work. So really multifaceted. And I guess that's why God made us this way, right? So we actually can multitask.
now we'll be doing the tabletop segment. I'll ask you 24 questions in a minute. Okay. Countdown. Okay. One fashion or beauty item you can't live without. Lipstick. Best lesson you have learned as an entrepreneur. Keep on trying. What did you get into trouble for when you were little? Issuing receipts asking people for money. The last thing you have Google or YouTube? Pororo for Zara. She's <laughs> obsessed with Pororo. The best advice you have received? Be true to yourself. And that's from my mom. A woman can never be more independent. Two things you like about yourself. My stubbornness, or you could reinterpret stubbornness as willfulness. Another thing is I am very compassionate. The most important quality a boss girl should have is respect. I think you need to have respect for, for anyone and not just above you, also below you. Your favorite Malaysian athlete? Aslan Iskandar. <laughs> Good answer. Good answer. Who do you usually turn to for advice or help? Well, I always, I think uh, the person who sleeps next to me every night, my husband. I definitely do bounce off ideas with him. I think whenever I reach anything, uh, something a little bit challenging or something that's disturbing me, so he's definitely my go-to person. Just in just time. In time. Yeah. So thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. We hope to see you again next time.